So while you're saying all this, I'm again putting myself uh, uh, in your shoes, like, and I feel by talking to a lot of entrepreneurs, uh, I think one of the like greatest uh, things to have is uh, have someone to go to. Like you said, you have a great uh, team to by whom you can uh, run things by. So it was not like that at all times, right? So at some point, uh, you were alone. You who did you like? Did you use your father? Like who did you uh, leverage? to share things and use as a When I, when I first started, before I was big, when we bought six offices from Mel Jackson in August of 82, I had my ex-wife who was uh, one of the, t- because of she's smart and spent years with me, she's one of the top people in the industry along with me. Mm-hmm. And so I could run everything by her. My dad was um, CFO of a public company. And then I had my best friend who had been working with me at Block for a decade, more than a decade. He was a great sales, great salesperson, incredible salesperson, and he was on the board of directors. So I had some close people to me that, that yeah. yeah, I try never to, I, I don't know if any time I've made the mistake of just rolling out an idea without running past my people. Yeah. Now, sometimes I continue on when they tell me it's wrong, um, but all of them stood up to me and said, "No, that's wrong. I wouldn't. I wouldn't proceed." And if Brooke, if you and I disagree, you're a smart guy. I I think that neither one of us is 100 percent right. That I have to. I if I'm going to come up with a uh, a acceptable uh, conclusion or or solution, then I need to move in your direction, whether it's five percent or fifty percent or ninety percent. If you and I um, think about this is the future and and what that goal should be or how we should get there, then it should be a combination of both of our thinking. Yeah. I'll say, just say one knife sharpens another. So when you put two minds together, you have higher chances of uh, uh, getting to a place where you need to be versus by yourself. No doubt. I've seen it. I mean, I've lived it. Yeah. So, I mean, for myself, I'm uh, concluding here that I got to be more intentional and in, in finding uh, uh, teammates that I can uh, share uh, to the point where uh, we would have such a relationship where I can be so open and tell them how it is and know that, you know, like both uh, whole and uh, um, all sides would be genuine and mean well and come back with the uh, with the come with like constructive uh, criticism and so on. So for us to only if you present. want to be extraordinary. If you want to be just ordinary, then you don't need to do that. If you want to be extraordinary, world changing, then you you need you need that for sure. Yeah, because it, it sounds like you had that in place, and father being a CFO in the pu- all public companies, so I'm sure you were getting feedback and direction that would uh, uh, make it easier than you would go and try to figure out uh, all on your own. Absolutely. I if if I was by myself. I would have failed because I move too fast mm-hmm. and I don't, I'm not detailed. So I need structure and detail to come along with me. So I need to merge with structure and detail. Each of my CFOs over the years I've fought with. And, um, but if I didn't have them, I would have failed. And if they had, didn't have me, they wouldn't have grown exponentially. So we make a team and they annoy me every day but I annoy them every day. But we come to a place where we, an accommodation where we can grow successfully. 